the army will continue to dominate. Even though elections would be held, but Yahya Khan wanted to continue to be the power broker. And uh, so therefore, he announced the elections only after the assessment was given by the National Security Council that it will be a hung parliament and the army will dominate. So that was the intention of forming the National Security Council. The army wanted to continue to play a role. You see, um, the army and Yahya Khan had uh, assessed that it will be a hung parliament. There were about 33 parties, big and small, and they thought that no one party will get a majority, and neither the Awami League in East Pakistan nor People's Party would be able to be in a strong position. So that it will be a hung parliament, and the army will continue to dominate, and Yahya Khan will be the power broker. This was the assessment. And this assessment was made by a study carried out by the national security cell that Yahya Khan had set up before the elections to collate all the reports, intelligence reports, what will be the composition of the parliament. So this was the uh, sort of their expectation. The intelligence agencies obviously could not read the situation on the ground. They could not determine the way, which way the wind was blowing, and the strong support, especially that the Awami League had in East Pakistan. So the, their expectations were totally, uh, went to totally haywire. When elections were held, it was a total shock to the army because Mujibur Rehman's Awami League got over 162 out of 164, I think, seats in East Pakistan. And uh, Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto's uh, uh, PPP got about 80-odd seats in uh, West Pakistan. So Awami League on its own had a simple majority in the total uh, National Assembly and could, should have formed the government on its own. That was not uh, acceptable to uh, Bhutto. And so Bhutto insisted that there has to be a power sharing agreement because uh, the Awami League was strong in East Pakistan and he was strong in West Pakistan, so there would be a coalition. Because negotiations did not lead to any results and uh, it became stalemated. So that's when uh, and uh, Mujibur Rahman insisted on his autonomy uh, proposals and then the uh, orders were given to crack down on 25th March.